What's up everybody? I've got all the Autobox cases. We've got the Commuter, we've got the Symmetry, we've got the Defender Pro. I've been trying them all out for the last week or so and today we're going to compare them all and see which one's best for you. Let's check it out. What's up everybody? So I've had these cases for the last two weeks or so. The Symmetry, the Commuter, and the Defender Pro. This one's for the 12 Pro Max, but we found out that it fits the 13 Pro Max. As you can see, they point out on these other cases here. Today we're going to go through them all, and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and maybe help you decide which one's best for you. So I started with the Symmetry case, so let's start there. Um, all the packaging is pretty much the same, and the main differences are they talk about the test rating. So the Symmetry, the Commuter, and the Defender have the similar testing done, but the Symmetry and the the commuter have a 3x rated and the defender has a 4x rated so this should offer pretty good protection it's not their top of the line as far as protection goes but it should protect you more than the average phone so let's break into it real quick and take a look all the packaging was kind of similar though this case is a, a single piece right so there's no inside or outside like some of the other cases um, it's kind of got like a tpu feel on parts of it and a hard plastic on other parts. Um, I definitely like this case for a couple of reasons. One, um, it's tight. It's really tight on the phone. It's, it really feels like one device when you have the case on there. It doesn't, there's no rattling, there's no moving around. It doesn't feel like it's gonna come off and it slides in and out of your pocket really easily. The button click is good. The reach into the toggle is great and it's got plenty of cutouts and space so you can still get your sound and audio and easy access with the cable. It's got good protection for your phone on the outside, so when you put the phone down on the surface, this ridge is gonna protect the optics of the phone from getting damaged. Probably not my daily driver though. I like it, it was great, and I would probably give it an eight out of 10 as far as these cases go. My main reason I didn't like it is one, like I said, it's super tight. Um, it's a little bit slippery though. I felt when I had it in my hand, it was kind of hard to hold on to compared to the other cases. Now, I'm definitely being a little critical here. Are you going to be dropping this phone more than just a naked phone because it's slippery? Probably not, but it's something to take into consideration. The angles, the lines, the screen protection is all pretty good, uh, but it's not my first choice. Next up is the commuter case. Now this one, in my personal opinion, offers a little bit more protection. I know it has the same drop rating as the other phone, uh, I'm sorry, as the other case, but I feel like this one will probably offer a little bit more protection. Now right away, some of the differences are is this is a two-piece case, right? So you have your hard outer shell, um, similar uh, approach to protecting the optics. It's a little bit beefier, it's a little thicker, so this ridge is a little bit smaller. Um, and then you have the soft plastic on the inside. And I guess the idea is when you drop it on a corner or something, the hard shell is going to hit probably and then distribute that shock throughout the rubber so that less of it makes it to the phone itself. Now, I do like this case a lot. I've been pretty much using this all week and it's comfortable. It offers a lot of protection and I feel like it's going to give my phone a fighting chance should I drop it at making it through the drop. Uh, a couple of extras that I do like about it is... You'll see on the back of it, there's these, some of the rubber makes it through the other side. And I didn't realize it when I first opened it, but that's to make it so it doesn't rock as much when you put it down. Um, the phone itself obviously has the camera bump on the back and some of the other cases, like the symmetry, rock because of the protrusion of the ring around the camera. Nothing really you can really do about that, except with this case. This case has bumps on the bottom to kind of make the phone sit on three spots instead of just the ridge around the uh, camera and optics. The clickiness of the buttons and uh, the ease of operating them is pretty straightforward and pretty good. I didn't have any problems with that. Reaching through the to the toggle is great. Uh, the top is very well protected. Same goes for the button on the other side for power. The one criticism I will have is I don't like this um, flap on the bottom, but I understand it's in order to really protect the phone, you have to have measures that protect the port on the bottom as well. The cutouts are okay. Um, I would have liked to have seen something like on the Defender where there's little 
ports that go down to the bottom of the speaker grill to kind of direct the sound out, but I can't really knock them too hard for that. So with these three cases, this is probably my front runner thus far, and I'd give it like a nine out of 10. Moving on to the next case. Now this one really is in a league all of its own compared to the other cases. This is gonna offer you some serious protection. So we'll get back to the carrying portion in a minute. Right away, you can feel it. It's, it's definitely substantially bulkier than the other two cases. Um, the symmetry is thinner than the commuter. The commuter is thinner than the defender. And this takes a reverse approach. While you have some, with the prior case, you have a little bit of the soft foam on the outside, most of the um, protection is gonna come from your hard shell like on the corners and whatnot, there's a little bit of plastic of the softer rubber there, but you also have the hard shell that's probably not gonna distribute the shock as well as the Defender is going to, the Defender Pro. This takes a completely different approach to protecting the phone. So from the inside out, you have this cage, if you will, a case within a case that your phone sits inside of that by itself is probably going to offer some protection. Um, obviously you have a hard outside surrounding all the edges of your phone and then to distribute any shock that the phone is subjected to, you have this soft outer layer. And now I really like the approach the engineers must have taken here when they were creating this case because if you think about it, when you drop the phone, it's gonna land, most likely land on an edge or a corner and that soft outside outer layer is going to lessen the impact and then the inner shell is going to distribute it around the phone instead of letting the shock go straight into the chassis of the phone itself. Um, this, this case is definitely bulky. I will say, I'll hand it to Otterbox, compared to their old Defender cases for like the 10 and 10S Max, it's not as chunky as they used to be. There used to be a significant difference between the different models of, of case. And while there still is, it definitely adds some heft. It's not as drastic as it was prior. Um, the access to the port is far easier in this case. The sound quality I find is actually better in this case. You can't really see it, but in my other review I show that the there's little cones in there that direct the sound out of, past the edges of the case, out into the world so you can hear it a little bit better. So little things to take into consideration. If you're going hiking, out in the world, running around, and you have a like, high likelihood of dropping your phone, this is the case you're going to want for sure. Okay, so now we've seen what each case has to offer. One last thing to check out is the bulk and weight that the cases are each going to add. So your phone itself, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, is going to weigh roughly 255 grams. The symmetry case, which is going to be the lightest and offer probably the least protection of all three cases, is going to add about 44 grams. The commuter case, which is arguably one step up as far as protection, as far as I'm concerned, is going to add 58 grams, so a little bit more. Makes sense, there's more material in this case than that case, it's gonna be heavier. Now your big bad boy, the Defender Pro, we're gonna take the case off, the uh, carrying case off the phone case itself is going to add about 80 grams to the weight of your phone. If you include the carrying case, you're talking 143 grams. So something to take into consideration. If you want to be a little bit more light and nimble, maybe the symmetry case is for you. If you want something that's a little bit more balanced, has a little bit more protection, the commuter case is probably for you. If you want maximum protection and the functionality of the stand, this case is going to be your bet, the Defender Pro. Thanks for stopping by to check out these cases with me today. I hope I was able to help you pick out the right case for your phone, the Defender, the Commuter, or the Symmetry. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you loved it, the subscription button is definitely appreciated. And if you have an idea for a product you'd like to see me review or check out, please leave the information in the comments below and I'll do my best to check it out. Peace.